Alrighty, we're back in Swinton. It's a sunny day, about 16 degrees. And I'm sat, Humpty Dumpty is sat on an eight foot wall. It's about two and a half meters for my non-imperial viewers. And behind this eight foot wall, just off uh, Station Road, you have the Crescent Angling Club. And I did not realize there was a big pond here for eight years. Sorry? Yes, yes, I know it's private property. Is there an issue with with that? My God, oh, I did not expect this to happen, guys. Even, even at the Crescent Angling Club, there's a scarecrow. There I was. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty filmed the reflection of a Union Jack in a nice peaceful pond. And Humpty Junkty was like, excuse me, excuse me, it's private property, you know. Uh, I hate most people. I see most people and I don't see anything worth liking in them. I see the animal kingdom. I see how it's one giant Darwinian fight for survival, death, eating, hierarchy. I see how obedient most people are. I just don't know how much longer I can survive surrounded by these people. Uwe le frog frog. Uwe le frog. Oh! Ale le frog. Ale le frog. Say it after me, people. Most human beings are. Well, guys, this reminds me of the uh, pre-treatment. That's, uh, that's the nose off the witch in uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. And then post-treatment, look at that. Do you believe it? Look at that without surgery. Because look, 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 look at this professional. This medical professional, look at that. That's mimicry, guys. That's like the hoverfly pretending to be a bee. This witch wants to blend into society. And so the Viso Aesthetics and, and, and Academy. Oh, Jesus. It's not the Viso Aesthetics Academy. It's the Viso Aesthetics and Academy. What a load of clown world sucking of Satan's cock. Look at that. Pay loads of money, change the outside appearance because that will help your soul. The only people that win is Viso, Viso Aesthetics and Academy. Oh my god. Honk, 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 honk.
Pendlebury Miners. I am the resurrection and the life. In memory of 178 men and boys who lost their lives in the explosion at the Clifton Hall Colliery on the 18th of June, 1885. 64 of them are buried in this churchyard. some heavy words for a church. It's not all Buckingham Palace and Big Ben and uh, red post boxes and red phone boxes. This is actually England. All right, I've picked an ugly one to kind of make a point, but you all know what I mean. Uh, what we've got here is a relic house. We're here in Swinton just off uh, Bolton Road. And uh, this one is so much older than the ones around it. I like it. I like the faded glory. I like the decay. I like the entropy. I think it gives it a certain, a certain charm, a certain je ne sais quoi. Although I do say quoi. It's uh, the the, the uh, nice traditional faded glory of the bricks. That's the say quoi. All right, people. We're going to go down and have a look at the former children's hospital. Because when you've got children working in textile mills and down the mines, a lot of them get injured. Okay, all. It's all now um, apartments, flats. This is a former Royal Children's Hospital in Swinton. This is where doctors would do their best at the very, you know, the very start of anaesthetic to amputate the limbs of little children who'd been involved in mining or textile factory accidents. Now, just have a think about how disgusting the morality of people was back then where you'd have five, six, seven, eight-year-olds working down a mine or in a factory with a big dangerous equipment and everyone wanted to make a bit of money people didn't want to starve and uh, yeah our society is kind of built on the exploitation of uh, not only children but of uh, other countries around the world ah that's that's a bit for another segment isn't it so I just phoned my kids school because I got a letter from the headmaster saying there's a new charity thing, NSPCC, National Society for Detection of Prevention of Cruelty to Children. I said, okay, I'll read that. And uh, they said, oh, for your primary school, we're gonna, we're gonna use a teddy bear to teach children where it's inappropriate to be touched. We're gonna discuss all four, this is what the letter said. We're gonna discuss all forms of abuse. And I was scratching my bald head going, all forms of abuse, discussing that with my six and eight year old. I better fucking get phone these people. So I phone up the primary school and it is a good school. I like the people. I like the lady I spoke to. She reassured me best as she could. And I said, look, I'm still not comfortable with it. I'd like to opt my children out of these lessons. I'll, I'll discuss that with them in my own time as the dad. 
And she's like, oh no, you can't opt out of it. It's compulsory for children. I'm like, what? Is that part of the national curriculum? She goes, oh, it's, there's some other buzzword, government initiative buzzword, which is as powerful as the national curriculum of education. And the message is, parent, you don't get to opt out. So I'm going to have a teacher use a doll or a teddy bear to discuss what I believe to be inappropriate things to discuss with a six and eight year old. So the lady phoned me back because Isaac was crying. I couldn't finish the call. Phoned back right now. And I said, look, I said, blah, blah, blah. I acquiesced. I've chatted to another dad. And I did. I chatted to a fellow dad yesterday. And he said, well, on the balance of things, Charlie, they do it sensitively. It's for the best. And I had my adrenaline. My blood started boiling because the lady who I got on well with, automatically, I don't think she was trying to be nasty but she says look mr veach no one's finger pointing at your home you know about abuse that fucked me off that really fucked me i said excuse me what no one had mentioned that i'm not what i said what my issue is is people who aren't a mummy or daddy discussing abuse with children i never said i was worried about finger pointing at my home Fucking hell, did her subconscious say that as a way to fuck me off? As a way to be a cunt for me daring as a peasant to raise an issue? We're meant to get the, let the directives from the Kremlin. We get the letters from the headmaster. Are we meant to just say, sorry, sir? Yes, yes, I praise you, praise you. When it's to do with my kids, I'm in charge. I have the power. I make the decisions. I allow you to teach my children that. But let's not forget, why am I ranting? Anyway, let's pretend you're the school. Let's not forget, at any moment, I can just walk in there, tell you all to go fuck yourselves, and take my child home to homeschool for the rest of their education. So don't fuck with me. Royal Manchester Children's Hospital. Hey, we're at the former site of the Royal Children's Hospital and they've named it Wrigley Avenue because you have to be a fucking gum chewer to buy one of these overpriced, ridiculously over mortgaged Lego houses, badly built Lego houses. Boom! Look at that. Identikit Lego housing. Quarter of a million pounds each. Here we have a typical working class suburban street in Manchester. As you can see, there's the odd shrub. But where the fuck are the trees? There's no trees, they've chopped them all down. But one man, one man is keeping it going. He's got what, like eight, eight giant pine trees in his yard. This man loves trees. Look at that, he's got them at the front as well. And it just makes the property look so much nicer with the trees, as you can. Oh, and he's selling it. It's for, oh no, it's sold. No wonder it's sold with these lovely trees. And also, who can say no to mustard-coloured curtains with matching potpourri fake apples? Many of you said in the comment section yesterday of my alien chat, so let's go watch Thunderfoot's uh, recent video on the 60 Minutes US Navy disclosure stuff. That was funny. That was very funny. You know, I was Occam's razoring these alien craft down to advanced Lockheed Martin skunk work bloody anti-gravity craft and uh, Thunderfoot he's Occam razored it right down to a fucking goose honk 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 don't damn me when I speak a piece of my mind because silence isn't golden when I'm holding it inside sometimes I want to kill sometimes I want to die Sometimes I want to destroy. Sometimes I want to cry. Sometimes I could get, get even. Sometimes I could give up. Sometimes I couldn't even really give a fuck. So don't damn me when I speak a peace of mind because silence isn't golden when I'm holding it inside.
can hear it calling in the air tonight. Oh no. Okay, sometimes a corner or a scene, it just, I don't know, it just seems to accelerate the decay. You've got Betfred, the kind of gambling shop. You've got Kine, Kine Funeral Services. Fucking Kane, didn't he kill Abel? And then you got realist ink tattoo with a missing eye all atop a very sad looking residential apartment block. This is England. Babe, I love you so, and I want you to know that I'm gonna miss your love the minute you walk out that door you just need electric fences guys you know because who knows what they have in this old office building that's going to be demolished shortly who knows there might be an old an old amstrad there might be some fax machines maybe a dot matrix printer remember them Remember the perforated edges so you could rip the bloody paper off? Whew! It takes me right back. You gotta love the posh name. St. James's House, St. James's Place, St. James's Palace, Princess Diana, St. James's Palace, Westminster, and yeah, it's the one with the electric fence. All the way around. Zappy, zappy. Alrighty then, we're gonna do a little, uh, a little zoom test. We're gonna go wide angle. There's wide angle. Can you see my fingers? Wow, that's way to the left. And look at that. Let's go one times magnification. And let's go five times magnification. Uh, but wait, there's more. <laughs> let's have a look into that apartment there. Let's see, let's go up to, tw wait, hold on. No, 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 let's go up to 20 times. There we go, we're at 20 times magnification. Let's come down to 10. Let's come down to 10 times. Actually, 10's pretty good. You don't need 20. Damn. I mean, isn't that one of the ugliest tower blocks you've ever seen in your life? Pripyat, we better evacuate. Chernobyl has just blown. This is England. We're here at the we're here at the good old Salford Precinct. Or as the sign says, Salford Shopping City. Where is it? The arrow says it's over there. Look at that. Imagine that. Look at that. Just in case. Where is it? Where is there it is. Okay, great. Now, amazes me. I've been in Manchester now, Manchester Salford. It's all the same thing. For about 10 years. And uh, this here that I'm filming, let's go wide angle. This here is absolute prime real estate. If they demolished all this, it, I, I, I fuck you not, it would be worth billions, the property that you could build on this land, because it's an extremely large site. That's going to be demolished. That's a new Tesco, so that accounts for itself. But this here, this like 20 acre site, massive on the other side as well. Just demolish it all. Get constructors in, get the builders in, get the painters in. Build me a big house and I'll buy it for 1982 prices, I promise. Okay, we've all seen the, the litter of face masks. Face masks everywhere, rubber gloves, face masks. The new litter. But uh, you know you're going deep when you're finding lateral flow test litter around. Don't worry, this is a negative test, but it's just weird. That, let me just try and, let me just try and get you a focus. Let me get you guys a focus. Tap, tap. Oh shit. Anyway, the camera prefers the floor. Let's go to number, oh shit. Oh, whoa, there you go. Oh my God. That's quite trippy actually. If the C and the T are highlighted in this uh, pregnancy test type thing, it's a positive COVID test. If it's the C alone, it's negative. What he's trying to say is stay two meters away or you will become gay. Check it people, we're getting Amsterdam style bicycle traffic lights. Can you see the bikes and the lights? Of course you can, they're not switched on yet. But uh, yeah, 
I mean, I hope I see a cyclist one day in Salford. One day I'll see a cyclist in this county. But um, it's nice to know my uh, taxpayers' money is, uh, you know, um, it being invested in such vital things as uh, cute little dinky uh, traffic lights for bikes. Okay, let's be honest for a moment. For working class people, the move from hunter-gatherer to agrarian to city-based has been an absolute unmitigated disaster for their well-being, for their health, for their mental health. Working class is just another term for cattle, cattle class. And uh, you should see the statistics for cities in Europe in the 1500s, 1600s, 1700s, 1800s, 1900s, up until the 20th century. Cities were decaying, degenerate balls of piss and feces and disease. The only reason cities grew in population is that bumpkins were convinced it was somewhere good to go. Disease wiped out everyone in cities. Uh, just, just, just check it out. Replacement rates for cities for birth or uh, immigration. We need to return to monkey, don't we? Alrighty, we're looking into a 200 year old building. As you can see, what took my eye, what got me excited is the uh, the uh, radiator stain at the back wall. I love it. Let me zoom out. Let's go widescreen again. There you go. Have some scale. Let's see if. Uh, let us see if we can crack a light-hearted joke. So, uh, Joe Satriani, obviously last year, he did the shape-shifting tour, I guess. He spent a lot of time in Israel. <laughs> Open windows. Open windows. I've seen some nurses with personal protective equipment running around. Sometimes you forget, don't you, that all this stuff is still going on. They're still overplaying the, the bad influenza. The naughty, naughty, naughty virus. But I do like the windows open. It looks pretty cool. It's like someone's done a really bad fart in there. Quick, open all the windows. One thing I do quite like here in Manchester is the use of rust as an actual color. As you can see the metal outline here at reception is metal rust. And it is very cool color. Uh, how about no, sweetie? How about no? Here's some more tasteful rust being used. Mmm, I love the smell of iron oxide in the morning. Okay, this is one of the expensive uh, jewelry and expensive watch shops here, just off St. Anne's Square in central Manchester. Now, a couple of weeks back, some uh, sledgehammer brute force thieves turned up on their mopeds. They smashed a big hole over there and took some watches. You can see that what Ernest Jones have done, they've moved all the Omegas and Rolexes and Zeniths and IWCs away from the window. And now they've put on the cheapo cheapo Rado, Longines, Tissot, which obviously are not the premium brands that the sledgehammer attacker went for. I'll try and post the photograph so you can see. Just missed it, I'll get it for you guys again. Check out this advert. How good is that? Here's the truth. If you hang out with people who dress like they shop at JD Sports, your chances of being shot at a house party go up by a hundred percent. Actually, a thousand percent. Ten times more chance of being shot at a house party if you hang out with people who dress as if they shop at JD Sports. <laughs> Kinda like it in a coma, but I don't think I wanna. Hey, we're back in uh, Piccadilly Gardens, city center Manchester for the first time in many, many weeks. Dare I say it, it feels safe, it feels busy, it feels normal. I've not seen any um, any crackheads that I recognize. It's like they've all graduated either to prison or the grave. And there's a new batch of fresh crackheads that I don't recognize. 